I hope you're all doing well. Let's do a really short story time. <clears throat> Tested for HIV, Hep B, Hep C, drug screen, all of that. So I had a patient and I found myself in a situation where I was trying to control the bleeding and as they coughed, I was just splattered with their blood on my face. You have that instinct. <laughs> reflex so obviously I closed my eyes my mouth was shut um, and I could feel it on my face and I was happy I had my glasses on but you just never know so if at work you are exposed maybe you, um, like a needle stick or anything like that you have to follow certain protocol so I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys about what I ended up having to do and then um, just encourage you to go speak to your manager your charge nurse just to find out the process so you don't ever want to like jeopardize your health or anything like that <clears throat> As you're caring for others so uh yeah so i couldn't wait to go home and scrub down but after the exposure what i have learned is that obviously it's a time sensitive thing so after exposure technically you're supposed to um, complete a variance report and notify your charge nurse notify your manager um notify the employee health get to a lab, um, obviously send the source's blood, and that's like, let's say if it's a patient, the patient's blood, so everything could be tested and then go down for lab work so you can be tested. There is nothing worse than waiting for like, let's say HIV results. And at this point, so many things are going through your mind. I'm like, okay, Lord, like, <gasps> I'm gonna need for that to be negative, just saying, so, um, I just I had a really rough day with what was going on and I literally couldn't get off the unit until after my shift so I go down I talk to the administrator and they're literally just getting on my back that I should have come earlier that it's really time sensitive like how could I not come earlier I had a couple things in my head that I wanted to say um, but I didn't I'm trying to keep my job um, but I was just frustrated especially as a new nurse and this is my first experience I'm what I've been nursing since February of 2016 it's my first experience so I don't know the protocol I don't know how time sensitive things are um, I don't know the process so it's my first one so I'm going to just kind of tell y'all um, so how I think they wanted me to act and, and do um, is if you get exposed obviously I mean stabilize your patient to the point um, where maybe you can walk off the unit and go complete all the paperwork and the reporting and get your blood drawn. It's just very odd, honestly, as an ICU nurse to for me to say, oh, okay, I just got like blood in my face. Let me not try and save this person. <laughs> and some of these efforts could take hours until you feel like you can even step out of that room. I just, I cannot, I don't know. I, I won't go into it, I'm a little still very frustrated about their response to it it's just it maybe it's not in my nature or maybe it's something it's something I need to learn I just can't see myself saying oh excuse me you know as I'm trying to save your life but I'm worried about my my eye um, let me walk away and do all that so I mean you know like if you're trying to run a code like time's gonna pass by and then you're going to get to the point where you can step away they're either restabilize or blah blah, blah. so I don't know I just whatever so if it happens don't do what I did find a time maybe just tell the charge nurse really quickly hey can you watch them I, I think I got something in my eye I immediately when I had a chance went to wash my face my arm my eyes everything um, I scrubbed down and then you know I got the patient again and I just didn't have time to go I really did not have time to go but like I'm telling you to do if you're exposed Find a time, see if you can get someone to cover, repeat the, uh, complete the reports, call employee health, um, collect as, you know, follow their instructions, collect the blood from the source, um, send that down for processing, and then um, do whatever paperwork you need to do and get yourself down to lab work so you can get some blood drawn and so they can start testing. Um, so the results should, especially for the HIV, should come back pretty quickly. And that's, I mean, <laughs> I am concerned about all the hepatitis and all of that, but I was just really just wanted to hear negative for the HIV. Um, so 
yeah um i did that and so finally when i heard the hiv was negative i was like okay good i'm like okay everything else i can kind of just breathe about it and um i had to also do a drug screening and all that to make sure you have some you know urine in your bladder drink um and then whatever paperwork you have obviously keep a copy for yourself give a copy to the manager and then just follow up to learn your lab work so that's just my story time I was a little frustrated about it. I'm still probably a little frustrated about it. Um, just how it it should really work and what it really works. How it really works. So um, I hope that you don't find yourself in this position. But if you do, stay calm. Um, you know, get some help. Help people cover you. Um, fill out all the report. Be as detailed, as detailed as you can be. Get your lab work done. And then just follow what your hospital is advising you to do. So thank you guys. Has this ever happened to you? Um, have you, you know, stuck yourself by a mistake? Um, I'm just curious to learn um, if you have gone through it. If not, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Um, I just hope this helps somebody because it's a very scary feeling to have to, like, we're exposed to other people's body fluids um, and so many other hazardous things that you don't want to injure yourself or jeopardize your health and, it, and we're in a business that I mean we're exposed to all of that so um, it will happen stay calm and work with your charge nursery managers and all of that um, to you know complete everything as they should and then go from there all right thank you guys so much for watching praise Jesus everything was negative um, if you have any questions again leave it in the comment section <sighs> yeah see now I could have slept well last night if i didn't know the results before i went to bed i probably couldn't couldn't sleep so yeah that's it if you have any questions again keep saying it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share the videos bye